Hi students. So in this lecture we are going to study about Van de Graaff generator. So this is simple setup of uh, Van de Graaff generator, and you must have seen this kind of photos or videos, like uh, where someone touches this uh, conductive spherical cell and then uh, hairs will stand. And you can also see this kind of setup in the physics lab. Okay, so let's understand what is this Van de Graaff generator. So here there are uh, two rollers these are two rollers and they are connected by via a uh, belt and this belt is connected to some uh, source of current and due to this there is a transfer of charge on this belt okay and so that's why this one side of uh, belt is positively charged when this roller rotates then this charge will uh, go and it will uh, get accumulated on this roller and now there is another conductive wire or conductive uh, material that is connected to this comb now uh, and there is another conductive metallic spare uh, this bigger metallic spare is there so now if you look at the potential of this inner spare and look at the potential of outer spare the potential of outer spare is lower than the potential of inner spare so that's why the positive charge which is accumulated on this roller will transfer to the outer spare and this is how there will be accumulation of charge on the outer spare uh, and uh, this roller will go on rotating so this is how this continuously there is supply of charge on the inner spare and which is transferred to the outer spare and this is how uh, there is uh, we, we can accumulate a large amount of charge on this outer metallic spare so this is van de graaff generator and this works on the principle of potential difference and now this is used for uh, um, acc accumulating large amount of charges also you know that v equals to kq divided by r is uh, kq divided by r so when q is high so that's why the potential will also be high so that's why uh, this uh, this van de graaff generator can also be used to store the charge at higher potentials and which can be further used to accelerate the charge particle so this van de graaff generator is also used uh, for the nuclear reactions so where we need to accelerate the charge particles and uh, uh, next if you go on increasing the uh, charge which is accumulated on this surface so as you know electric field due to this uh, sphere is kq divided by r square so if you increase the q so electric field will increase at one point this electrical field will reach to the uh, dielectric uh, strength what is dielectric strength the point where this medium or the air which is present around this um, metallic sphere will become conductive okay so at that point at the dielectric strength electric field at that point this charge which is accumulated on the metallic sphere will start getting transferred to the atmosphere okay this is known as corona discharge so in the van de graaff generator if you go on increasing this potential on the metallic sphere then uh, this corona discharge will take place so this is complete setup of van de graaff generator and uh, okay so let's end over here thank you